Well, speaking about leftist idiots, all over social media was, oh, how terrible they've, you know, they've destroyed, they've got indiscriminate bombing in Beirut mm. and all the rest. No, it was targeted against Hezbollah. Very specifically, this Nasrallah character has... Wait for it, Rita. Where did the celebrations come? The celebrations were in the Arab world. Let's yes. have a look at, for example, in Syria, where they were celebrating the death of Nasrallah. <laughs> Nasrallah has been behind the, you know, the, the, the decades of mm. violence in Lebanon, uh, in Syria. Countless murders. Murders. Countless, the yeah. Iranian, he's one of the, Iran, Iran's chief proxies. Iran is behind so much or all, in fact, of this violence. And to take him out was critical. Israel is now taking out the enemies. This is the only way to bring peace to the Middle East. They've had decades of the penny wong, oh, two-state solution, blah, 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 and, undergraduate and thing. It doesn't work. The two-state solution obsessed types can never explain what that would actually look like. Are we going to have Hamas... Uh, if the majority of the Palestinian people are backing Hamas, are they going to be controlling the other state? And how exactly is that going to work when Hamas's uh, number one objection is to destroy Israel? So, yeah, you can all talk about two-state solution and this is the ideal path forward, but you actually need to spell out some detail and that's where it falls apart. And talked about the leftist idiots in the West and that extends, sadly, to the bulk of the media Yep. AP News disgraced itself again. I just want to show you two examples. First one, this is how they described a Republican senator dying. This is a man who served his country, died, and he's described as former US Senator Jim Inhofe, defence hawk who called human cause climate change a hoax, dies at 89. Oh, That's joking. the headline. You're but joking. this is how they described a monstrous killer, a terror leader. Charismatic and shrewd. A look at longtime Hezbollah leader Hassan Nasrallah. I mean, this is this, this is, is this sick. is the, the same thing they did with the Islamic State leader when yes. he was. Can remember they called him a, a religious scholar or or some and, other. And they did it with one term. of the they did it with one of the uh, Hamas characters, the one who was blown up in Iran. Yeah. <laughs> they said, "Oh, he's the moderate." I think even the Australian media were, "Oh, he's the moderate." Why are Israel blo Israel blowing up yeah, the moderate? The guys? moderate terrorists. Uh, but that's the Western media. Reads. So let me just read you a tweet from a Lebanese person, a civilian, <laughs> as a Lebanese, this is a bloke called Jonathan Elkhari, as a Lebanese, this is one of the happiest days in Lebanon's history, he writes. As a Middle Easterner, he says, this is one of the most transformative, and I think that's really key, days for the Middle East. As a human being who holds peace before my eyes, this is the most important day for our region. And, the, and we cannot reiterate enough, Rita, that the Penny Wong approach is wrong, 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 and the Israeli approach to solving this problem, finishing this war, defeating Hamas to ensure that this evil is rooted out of the Middle East, and I'll be talking about this later in the show, how as the vision that Netanyahu has, Rita, for the Middle mm. East of a prosperous, peaceful place linked to the Abraham Accords, Let's hope Trump gets back in because we can see a bright future for the well, Middle East if he does. Let's talk about that because yeah. I think that is another critical point. Things are going to be very different if it isn't a Trump administration, if we're going to have a Harris Walls yep. administration because we've seen already her attitude to this issue. I know it causes enormous alarm in Israel amongst Netanyahu's government and I think beyond because... They seem to be obsessed with continuing the failed Obama-Biden strategy. It doesn't work. We saw in four years how much could be achieved with Trump, with the Abraham Accords, with normalising relations between uh, Arab nations and Israel. And we have gone backwards at such a rapid pace and you hate to think what would happen if we did have a harris Walls administration in there. Oh, I think it would be significantly horrific. worse than even what we saw under Obama than Biden.